Hey, good Thursday to you, and thank you for joining Calvary's Word of the Day. Branch of the True Vine. You know, today we want to look at a passage that involves a bit of agriculture, and it's in John 15, verses 1 and verse 5. You see, I grew up in the Deep South, and on my parents' farm, they had a grape arbor. Each fall, we'd prune or cut back those vines to those plants so that those plants could put on new growth. Because guess where the fruit came from? The new growth. But if you didn't prune them, you got smaller, littler, almost non-production on those vines. But if you prune them, you got generally a really good harvest. See, if you don't prune, you get smaller. If you prune, you get quantity. John 15, one states, I, Jesus, is the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. You see, Jesus is the true vine, the true vine of hope that helps produce fruit. Not edible fruit, not what I'm talking about for those grape arbors there, but love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, kindness, self-control. The kind that only the Spirit of God can help you produce through the true vine dresser. And if we yield to God's spirit in our lives, sometimes uncomfortably he prunes the branches or our attitude or our spirits that are not producing good fruit. In other words, if there's something that needs to be removed, if we'll yield our spirit to God's spirit, he'll help remove that for us. John 15, 5 reminds us, I, Jesus, am the vine and you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and he is the key. Here's the key. And I am in him. Let me say that again. Here's the key. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. You see, God requires us to produce fruit. He expects us to produce fruit. He wants us to produce fruit. He wants us to be gentle. He wants us to be loving. He wants us to be joyful. But we can't do that with inside ourselves. We have to yield to God's spirit. Philippians 4.13 wraps it up. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. You see, it's not within my own strength. It's through Christ's strength, through the guidance of the Holy Spirit that keeps me connected to the branches of the true vine. When I stray, God prunes. When he prunes, it produces new. New produces useful fruit. What fruit are you struggling to produce in your life? Can I just encourage you, if you take just a minute, look at the fruit. So on a day-to-day -day basis, submit your will or my will to God's will. I today choose to allow the pain of pruning to help me grow and help me abide or stay connected and I in him to the source of true life, Jesus Christ. Here's a real challenging question. Will you make a choice today to stay connected to the power source by surrendering your entire being to Jesus Christ and allow him to fill you, him to grow you, him to prune you so that you produce good fruit? Will you join me in prayer? Father, thanks. Thanks for loving us. Thanks for giving us an opportunity to be your children. And Father, you say that of those you love, you discipline. And Father, I'm going to equate that to pruning. So Lord, help prune all of the things out of my life that you don't desire there. Help me to recognize that it's you through the power of your Holy Spirit that's helping me to grow. And all of those that are listening to this and that they will, along with myself, allow you to prune us so that we produce love and joy and peace, patience, goodness, gentleness, kindness, and self-control so that we can lead a dying world to a life-changing relationship with your son Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. Hey, hope to see y'all at the classic service this Sunday, 8 a.m. at the McCulloch campus. God bless you and bye-bye.